One way to determine if modifier 26 can be appended or should be appended for a physician service performed in an outpatient facility is to look on the RVU file on the CMS website. In order to find that file, we would go to Medicare. We would go down and we would select our provider type, which is physician. Then on the physician page, we're going to go to the RVU file or the relative value files. We are going to download the most recent file and then we are going to open up the folder. The file that you want to open is the PPRRUV14. I'm going to go ahead and freeze my panes and I'm going to search for the code that I want to find. The code in question is 92920. We're going to find it. When I get to that line, I see that the PC and TC indicator is zero, which means we would not report modifier 26 with the CPT code 92920. I can quickly determine applicable modifiers using an electronic code lookup tool. Um, in this instance, we're looking at AAPC coder from the main page. So the code in question is 92920. In order to find out the applicable modifiers, I can go right into the code or I can quickly click on modifiers for physicians. And it's going to bring up for that code the applicable modifiers. On this list, we do not see modifier 26 appended, so we know that it is not required when a physician performs this procedure in the outpatient setting. I can determine if a modifier is applicable by looking in the forums to see if someone else has asked that question or posting the question myself. In order to get to the forums, I need to be logged in. I am also going to go into networking once I'm logged in and go to the forums page. In the forums page, I can search. So if I click on search, I can input the particular CPT code that I have a question about and it's going to bring up all the threads that contain that code. Now sometimes depending on the code you might have a lot of posts to look through. So sometimes this could, could be a very time consuming process. So when we look through we see all of the posts that contain that particular code. So if I want to modify my search to give a little more information I could also indicate the modifier and see what I get. In this one it has no matches. Okay, So if I want to go in and post a question instead because I can't find my answer or I can also try searching without the dash in there in case someone um, entered it in without that particular dash then I can also look and see what I have. And it's going to bring up the same list again. So we would need to go into each individual post and see if the question that we have is the same as what's already been answered. Or I can go in and I can post my own question. I post my question by starting a new thread and to do this I'm going to go back to my forums main page. I'm going to go back to the specialty that makes sense for the question that I'm, at, that I'm asking. In this case it would be cardiology. So in order to start a new thread I just click on new thread. The title would be the code. and then I would ask my question. And 
and then I would go ahead and submit the new thread and then individuals will email me back. Whenever you get a answer back from your forum posts, you want to go ahead and ask for the source. Even though as coders we know a lot of information, sometimes the information changes or we might have been instructed incorrectly. So we want to make sure that there is a source that you are referred to so that you can find this answer on your own if needed.